Hi, I'm Nelly Nell, and can you even see my head? Oh, have I been standing too close this whole time? Do I look like a floating? Oh, come on. Work with me here. Oh, thank you for joining me. If I can get this right, we can get started. All right. Just going to go for it. So, first things first, I usually protect my hair under my scarves, whether it's a bonnet, like you see here, or a scarf. So, I wanted to choose a scarf that had color or pattern so that you could see easily what I was doing on video um, and also different shapes and sizes so this one is pretty large that we're going to start off with um, I usually fold it about a quarter down just so that the edge on the nape or the back of your neck is nice folded and even no loose strings or anything that can be seen at the seams so I generally tie it up front, give it a good tug, make sure that it's secure but not too tight. If it's overly tightened and you feel like your ears are about to explode, uh, you'll probably have a headache later and you'll feel more uncomfortable than cute. But here I'm twisting and tucking as I go to take it from two pieces into one. So at the top, you can kind of build your shape while it still has the two pieces. Um, and then as it goes into one, it's kind of less bulky in the back. And tuck, easy peasy. Usually if I'm doing a deep conditioner or something like that, this is a quick and easy go-to for me. That was fast. Next! <laughs> <laughs> um, on this one, I'm pulling my hair back as if I would in a puff. Um, and that's because this style I'm going to use the size or volume of my hair to give me some room to play. So that's like a scarf. It's just a regular rectangle scarf. Tie it in the well shape it into like the triangle like a bandana and fold and tuck here we go so this one's more of a medium size this is a pashmina um, that I got I do the same thing folding wise just fold so the edge is nice and smooth against your nape and the same system here where I tie the front not too tight again it's better to be comfortable because you'll have those crazy marks on your forehead and your head will hurt like crazy I've done that been there done that but anywho this is where you'll see like more you can play with the shape so that's really how you're gonna find something that you like there's, you're never really going to be able to duplicate. Even when you do your own, it's hard to really duplicate because it depends on how your hair, like with a hairstyle. <laughs> oh, it went dead there. Yeah, clearly I'm definitely new to this. You got to get used to it. But So you got to play with it, kind of tweak it. Um, it's a, again, it appears loose at the top because it's just my loose hair it's not as constricted as it was under the bonnet and that's just so I can do what I'm doing right here kind of mush it around and get it to go where I want it to go but just twisting tying and then with the fringe oh don't put your eye out with the fringe um, I like to kind of twist and tuck there as well because it makes it easier for them to hide now those do peek out every now and then if you're really into the perfect look, you can use like a handheld mirror to turn around so you can see the back just to make sure everything is all nice and tucked in. You can use uh, bobby pins also, so the same way you would tuck like a loose hair away. You can do it with this part. 
So just check it out. Will it work for you? It looks a little loose, but that's just because I have loose hair up there. But um, it is nicely anchored. Cute. Check it out. Check it out. Like those little pieces back there. I just take that hand hold and tuck them. And we're off to the next one. So here I'm going back to the bonnet. Um, and you can see what I mean by my hair is more constricted there because you have that elastic band that kind of holds you in place. It's not as fluid as with the scarf. And this is just to show that it doesn't have to be a huge scarf. This one is long, um, but it really doesn't have that width. So it's not a huge square, um, but we can work with it. Whether we do a lot of tucking and pulling, like you'll see here. Um, and in this case, my hair is really big. But if I want it uh, smaller, you know, you can make it smaller. You wouldn't have to work as hard to make it work for you. Um, but if you're ever on a crunch, you just adjust and go. Adjust and go. There's not going to be a quick one-two. So, again, I'm twisting. I was going to do the knot, but the easier way uh, would be to camouflage with that front that you see you can kind of poof that out so we know the scarf didn't totally cover our hair but if you work that front you can tweak it just enough to where you can make it work honey so that's what you do and one more style I'm gonna show with this scarf is where of course Oh, I should probably, am I done being cute, checking myself out? Okay, here. <laughs> so what I'm going to show you here is um, how we're using the same scarf. I'm just doing a little bit more tucking, a little more work, but it's just another way you can kind of switch up the style of a scarf. Every scarf can be, you know, used in different ways. It's just about creativity. That's really what you got to do. Um, get in there and play around with it. Different styles, different sizes. I'm sure you can figure something out. Lovely, come on. Let those juices flow. And there you have it, ladies. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Right. I hope the voiceover comes out right. If not, it'll be subtitled. Closed captioned? Yeah. Okay, I'm done for real this time. Okay. Bye.